Hi guys, it's Beth here again. Today we have this rather lovely panda for you to draw. All you're going to need is a pencil, a rubber, a black felt tip and a paintbrush and some water. If you don't have a black felt tip, don't worry, you could do a red panda or a pink panda or any other colour you choose, it really doesn't matter. So, if you've got everything ready, let's make a start. So, we're going to start with the nose. I want the nose um, just lower than halfway. You'll notice I've actually got my paper landscape today as well. It doesn't really matter, but I just thought it might be a little bit different, but also the face fits better in more of a landscape position, but it, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. So, um, we're going to start with the nose. I would say central, but about a third of the way up the page. And the nose is, we're going to make it about, on my A3 piece of paper, it's probably about three centimetres long and it's like a little oval shape and then it comes down to a little gentle point in the middle at the bottom, can you see? So just do little sketchy lines again, quite pale, don't press hard so if you do make a mistake it's much easier to rub out and then when you're happy with it, you can work over and make that line a little bit darker. So just get the general shape in to start with. So we've got your nose. We're going to pop some nostrils, quite big nostrils at the bottom. So two little ovals just at the bottom of his nose, just there like that. Okay? Doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, so don't get too worried if it's not absolutely perfect. So we're going to bring a little line down now from that point and we're going to put his mouth in. So again it's up to you, you can choose if you want a grumpy panda or a happy panda. I'm going to do a little smiley panda so my mouth is going to go up a little bit at the edges like that. Okay, so we've got our mouth and our nose mapped in. Now his eyes we're going to, his eyes are going to track the edge of the nose up and then we're going to go out a little bit. So the eyes are going just over halfway up now and they're, they're quite small eyes. So little circles, circles are quite tricky to do so just little lines till you're happy and then the same on the other side. So try and position it so we, we're tracking up and then just out a little bit. And also just check that it's level with the other eye. Okay, we can always tweak it if we're not happy later on. So two, in fact, I think that eye's a bit over, isn't it? So I'm going to just rub that out, have another little go. So up and then over, we'll take it over a little bit more, I think. Like that. Let's have a little look at that. I think that's okay. Right, okay. So you've just got his eyes popped in there. Going to pop um, his, let's do his nose. So we're going to just do a little line. We're going to come in a little bit, make it level with the nose, these two lines. So I put a little mark there and a little mark there, and then we're going to come down, and then we're going to come out, and round underneath his mouth. We're going to do the same on the other side. So down and then bring our line out and round to meet up with the other side like this. Okay? So we've got his nice nose and mouth a bit mapped in. Okay? What I'm going to do next, we're going to do, pandas have got lovely big black fur around their eyes, haven't they? So let's get that bit popped in. So we're going to continue this line now and we're going to work a little line, a little sketchy line, just sketchy lines until you're happy with it. So we're going to do a nice big going to line that goes across and above the eye 
and then back round like that. This side, the same on the other side. So across the top of the eye, back down, and then round. Roughly the same size as, as the other eye. There we go, so it meets up, so it matches. Have a step back, have another look at it, see if you need to tweak it a bit more. Um, I think it's okay, I might actually bring that down just a little bit, actually. I think that's fine, and then I'll just rub that little line out. Okay, always keep just standing back, just checking. That's why we do little sketchy lines, so when we do make mistakes, it's really easy to rub out. All right, so we've got our little basic um, features mapped in. Now we need to put a shape of his head. So they've got a nice big sort of round heads pandas have. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take a little line now, work up um, probably about the same distance as maybe his black section. So we're gonna just go up Put a little mark and then some little sketchy lines. We're going to do a big circle around. So this is his head. A little circle around, down, just a little bit under his mouth. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. I'm just doing little sketchy lines down. There we go. So his ears next. We've got his face mapped in and we're going to do his ears. So his ears are quite big. We're going to do, it's just a, almost like a semicircle, a big semicircle that goes on the sides of his head at the top. Okay. And the same on the other side. So I'm going to just track that ear and we're going to try and match it up the best we can. And the bottom bit, track it and then match it up on the other side. It's got our lovely ears there. And then I'm just going to put his shoulders in. So quite high up actually, so sort of level almost at the bottom of his nose. So a little line through shoulders. Okay, so we've got the general outline of our panda so far. We're going to now add some tones in. We're going to do a little bit of shading. So his eye, what I'd like us to do is we're going to just draw another little line around the outside of both of them, like this. And then we're going to put mark our little white highlights in the same spot on both eyes. So I've done mine sort of just to the right a little bit. And then we're going to shade in the eye, get the eye shaded in. So press nice and hard, everybody. We want to make that really dark, as dark as we can on both eyes. There we go. We're going to keep this outer rim, the one we've just drawn, we're going to keep that white so we don't need to shade that. And then we're going to do this black section here. So I'm going to try and do my line work so that it's all my lines are pointing to a centre point. Okay, in the eye. And that gives this really nice sort of broken line effect on the edge. So you might have to be super careful not to shade into that white rim. I'm gonna work round the eye. The line, the direction of the line always pointing to the middle of his eye a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just carefully cut around that rim so we don't go inside it. And then continue my lines all coming out. There we go. On 
on both sides. Okay. Do the same on the other side. So what I'm going to do, just to stop myself from going inside that white rim, just do a little bit of colouring around and then do my lines coming out. I'm going just slightly over my outline as well, you can see. all the way around. Obviously I'm doing this as quick as I can for you. You just take your time. You go at your own pace. Okay. Again this needs to be really dark so try and press hard or maybe work over it a few times to get it really dark. Dark as you can. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to do a little lighter bit. So we're not pressing hard now because we want this bit to be slightly lighter. Just a little light section around the top and the side. Coming down about halfway on both of these dark areas. So I'm pressing lightly now with my pencil so that it is and sort of more of a shade of grey. Nice light shade. Okay. So we've got nice big black eyes and then a nice sort of framed by a lighter area. There we go. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is the nose. So I want the nose, well, we'll put the nostrils in. So again, really, really nice and dark. Press nice and hard. And then we're just going to shade a little bit, quite lightly, at the base of the nose, at the bottom bit. And then I'm going to put some little markings, little tiny dots at the top. Like this. And then I'm just going to smudge with my finger and drag a little bit of that pencil from the bottom up to the top of the nose. What you can do is you can always use your rubber just to rub out, make a little highlight on the nose as well. And then just blend it back in a little bit. Okay, so next little bit, we're going to work down and do the mouth. So I'm thickening up that line a little bit. And I'm going to work over my original pencil line, just thickening it up, making it a bit darker. Lovely smile. And then just a bit of gentle shading just in the middle and underneath, just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's do his ears next. So we're going to use this same technique again because we want to make his ears look a little bit fluffy. Um, I'm going to do, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. So I'm going to just start almost like this is my centre point and my lines are all coming out of this centre point. We're working our way round like this. So they're all pointing to that centre point, can you see? We're working round, so I'm doing the middle bit really nice and dark again, a bit like we did with the eyes. And then the outer bit slightly lighter. And I'm also going over the pencil edge, the outline, a little bit just to make that edge look a little bit fluffy. Okay, so nice and dark in the middle and then slightly lighter at the edge. But trying to keep my pencil lines in the same direction. Okay, if you want to make that really dark you can work over it a bit more. We are going to add obviously some colour over the top, so you don't have to worry too much. Again, the same, so a little centre point there. And then all my line work is going in that direction. All the way around the ear, nice and dark, pressing as hard as you can. If you've got um, sketching pencils, 2B pencils, anything like that, you will get darker tones 
Okay, and then lightly around the edge. So working around the edge. Try and make that edge nice and fluffy. Just take your pencil lines over the outline just a little bit. Okay, so lots of shading here. You might need to have a little rest if your arm starts to ache or your hand starts to ache. Okay. So make that little bit darker again. All right. We're going to do some shading on his body. So his face is going to remain white. We might put a little bit of shading on that in a minute. But we're going to just colour in our body a little bit. Now I quite like using scribbly lines. So I'm shading nice and quickly. And I'm going to get this body all nice and dark. You can, if you want to, try and make it slightly darker under the chin and along the edges. Might need to sharpen your pencil a few times with all this sketching and shading. So nice and dark at the edges and under the chin. Oop, hold on. There we go. And then Maybe slightly lighter in the middle bit. Let me use your finger to just blend it in a bit as well. If you get mucky fingers, don't worry. You can always wash them at the end, okay? So, nearly there. We're going to put a few more little markings on. So I'm going to do a few, just a little dashes, little lines. Just a little bit of fur. I'm pressing quite lightly because their faces are generally light, but we just want to put a little bit of texture in here. So I'm just putting in a few very light pencil marks just on his cheeks and up around the edge a little bit, and maybe a few just at the top. Just a few little marks. And again, I might just put a few coming down these nose. Right, I'm gonna just now give him a little bit of a fluffy edge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just in a, a sort of a squiggly line really, just a, around his face. It can be a broken line. So, not a continuous line, just a, sort of a little squiggly line, just to show that he's got sort of a slightly fluffy edge under his chin. Okay, and then I'm going to give just the sides of his face, I'm not going to do this bit, but just these little bits, just the edges around the edge, just a little smudge with my finger. just to give him a bit of form, a bit of shape. And a bit under his chin. Okay, right, so I think that is the pencil bit done. We're gonna just now emphasize all those shapes, make him really pop out by adding our felt tip pen. So, I am gonna use black. But obviously you can use, if you wanted to have a bit of fun, you could do um, a different colour, any colour, it doesn't matter. But I've got my black, so we'll, we'll go with black for now and then you can do what you want. So what I'm going to do is use my black felt tip and I'm going to work in the same way I did with the pencil. So the same brush strokes, the same, well they're not brush strokes are they, but the same pencil strokes, the same direction. And just really emphasize this dark area. Okay, so I'm just working over the dark area now. I'm not doing the gray bit, just that really black bit. So all my lines pointing to that one part. 
okay then I'm going to do the eyes as well so remember we wanted those really nice and dark we're going to color them in you don't have to completely block it in you could just sketch it a little bit because when we add the water it will blend it all together so just our lovely eyes don't go over your lovely white sparkle and then some little black lines again around the eyes so radiating out like this the same on the other side around his eyes here we go all right I'm going to just work over his nostrils a little bit some of these little dots add some really dark little dots in and the base of his nose and his mouth this little broken line just to outline his nose a little bit just going up the sides not worry too much about the top and then just working over his mouth as well like that maybe a few little lines underneath is enough um what we'll do with the face we will add just a few not too many little scattered lines so not perfectly straight or in straight lines just very random under his chin a little bit as well I want to make that a little bit darker and then that will make this middle bit stand out a bit more okay and I'm going to just outline so again over our lovely pencil line just a little sort of squiggly line around his face not a continuous line so keep lifting your pen off okay like this and I might just put a little bit of a few little bits of dark on his body as well Here we go, around the edges and under his chin. A few down here. Okay, so that's probably all I'm going to do with the felt tip. And now we're going to use our water to do a lovely wash and blend that in a little bit. So let's get our water and our brush. So what I'll do, we will start with the eyes. You don't want too much water on your brush because you don't want to make little pools. So just wipe off any drips and we're just going to blend in, work over that ink around the eyes. Make them really nice and dark. Like that. And then that white highlight really stands out nicely now. We're going to use our brush to now paint and blend in that really dark area. Again with my brush strokes, I'm still working my brush strokes in the same direction as I did my pencil and my ink just to emphasize that direction and The shape of the fur and then I'm going to just drag out that ink a little bit into that pale bit that we did with our pencil at the beginning there we go so it blends it all together nicely and the same on this side so using the direction of my brush strokes all the way around and then just dragging it out a little bit over that pale section. Here we go. So 
just makes it a little bit darker. But you've still got your lovely pale section as well. So there are the eyes, the nose. We just got your dark section at the bottom. So what I want to do is just drag some of that ink up a little bit to try and emphasize the shape of the nose. And then we'll work over the nostrils a bit more. I'm gonna wash my brush now and wipe off any drips. And then with my clean brush, I'm just gonna drag that up a little bit just to blend it in a bit more. And then work over these little spots above. The mouth, I'm doing the same technique, but I'm dragging down and going under the lips. So underneath, so we're gonna make this bit darker underneath. This bit, we want to stay nice and light. So I'm just dragging that down a little bit, like that. You see that just gives it a bit more shape. Well, I've got a little bit of gray on my brush, I'm just gonna add a few little gray spots, just a few. Not too many, we really don't want this middle section to get too dark, so keeping it nice and light. But it, just blending it in a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush, a clean water. I'm just gonna work over these spots a little bit, just to give a bit of shade, just underneath. So underneath this middle section, and working around his face. We can do the same at the top a little bit as well, just along the top. And then it gives him a bit more form, doesn't it? Makes him look a bit rounder. So darker at the sides and then lighter in the middle. There we go. So we're almost there with the face. It's looking quite good. The ears. So we're just going to drag that ink up, paint that middle section first. I'm going to do that on both sides while my brush is nice and wet. And then the outside obviously is a bit lighter. So what we'll do, we'll just wash our brush wash that ink off and then just the clean brush just drag it up try and drag it and again go right to the edge it's quite nice to have a fluffy edge so take your brush strokes over that line like this little lines again I'm, I'm doing it in the same direction as I did when we were doing the felt tip and the pencil so same on this side so we've still got that lovely light edge and the nice dark middle bit. So all the way round. There we go. So lovely fluffy ears. Okay. And then you can do this quite quickly. You don't have to be super careful. So just working over the ink on his shoulders and all your lovely pencil lines. Just blending it in a bit more. So, I'm doing that nice and quick. There we go. And just take a little step back, just have a little look. Check that you're happy with it. I think we might be nearly there. Let's have a little look. So I think we're okay. What you can always do when it dries, you can always go back if you think some bits need to be a bit darker or you miss some little bits out. You can go back, add it in and then go over it again with a bit of water. But um, I think we are there. So Ah, the, only, the other thing you can do, which I do a lot, which you, if you've done the emu or any of the other art with us, is splats. 
entirely up to you, but if you wanted to do it, you could obviously pick up a bit of ink from any of the dark sections, dip your brush in the water, and then do your splats. I do really like these splats, but... So there's our finished panda. I hope you enjoyed it. Do send us your pictures. We would absolutely love to see them. We've got lots more activities coming up for you, so we will see you again soon. Bye for now.